hello guys welcome back to my channel it's your boy Anos KidFX. so in today's video i'm going to show you how you can link your derivative account to your metatrader 5. i've got some questions from beginners who are just starting this game or who just created their accounts on how they can link their account to their mt5 so that they can begin their trading as soon as possible so i'll take my time to show you the step-by-step -step process on how you can do that also it's becoming challenging this day that after staying inactive for a while on your trading account on Deriv, they deactivate your account and there is need for you to reconnect it or probably you come back trying to log in and all and you find out that your account is inactive. So all you just need to do is, I'm going to show you everything you need to do right now on this video as well. So if you are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe to it and don't forget to also turn up the notification bell and give us a thumbs up so that whenever we drop important content like this, you will be the first to get the update. Also, don't forget to share this video to family and friends who are also in this game so that we can all learn and grow together. All right. Also, there is a link to the description of this video on our Telegram channel where we drop regular updates on both Derive synthetic pairs and what the currency market as well. So make sure you join the Telegram channel. So without wasting much of our time, let's dive into what we have today. So guys, the first thing you need to do is to log into your Derive site by using your email and your login password. So once you log in with your Derive email and then password, it's going to bring you to this page. So this is my personal page. What you just need to do here is, you know, there are different things you can do on the site. This area of cash is probably when you want to do any transaction, like you want to fund your account, you want to request for withdrawal, you have some complaints to make, deposit, as regards to different type of deposit method that you have, this is what you can do here. Then this trader hub is more like your, where your account, you can find most of your account details. So all you just need to do is to go to trader hub. You can see this is my trader hub. So when you come to this trader hub, there are different things also you can do here, but this is basically where you can actually find the login details of your account. So under this trader hub here, you can see that there are two accounts here, which is the real account and the demo account. So depending on the one you want to do, I'm just going to use the demo account as a case study, but it's just the same process. So I'll switch my account to demo. I'll switch my account to demo. And then all you just need to do is to scroll down, okay? When you scroll down, you can see this CFDS here, okay? If you're using a mobile phone, it's quite simple. We are using a mobile phone from this, when you log in, you just need to click on option. The option is always at the top left corner of your screen. You click on it, it's going to show you a different platform. Where you will see the same thing as Trader Hub. I think that's the first thing you will see if you're using a mobile phone, Trader Hub and some other set of things. So the same procedure, you come to Trader Hub. When you come to Trader Hub, you will see it in this form, then by the right hand side, probably around this region, I'm talking about those that are using their mobile phone, you're going to see CFDS, this same thing here. You're going to see, so when you click on it, you're going to see these options here. You're going to see top up and open. So what you just need to do is to top up here, to so top up here, and then you have all your login details. So these are your login ID. These are your login ID. Okay. So you copy your login ID. While you are creating your account, there is a particular password that you use in creating this account. Probably the same password you use in opening a, in logging in with your email is still the same password here. But the thing is, Derive is not going to display your password for security purpose. So the password is best known to you guys. So what you just need to do is copy this login detail. Another thing is you have to take note of your server's name. When you on the real account, there are two servers you can encounter. You see that you see the Rift server, the Rift server, oh, the Rift server O2. Yeah, so I think these are the two real account um, server that you can find. You see that the Rift server or the Rift server O2. So if irrespective of whichever one you're using, you just have to take note of it. And then you also have to copy this login details. So after I was have copied the login details, the next step you now have to do is 
you log into your MetaTrader 5, which I'm still going to show you just in a moment. All right. So don't forget if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the like button and also subscribe to this channel so that you will keep on getting important update for us. And like I said, there is a link to this channel where we drop updates as regard to our trading um signals and every other of the regarding to trading so make sure you subscribe to it so that you can participate in the current signal as well and from the telegram you can also have access to us if you intend to go further in your learning if you're a beginner you need a proper mentorship or if you want to join the vip signal group you also have the the you can also find your way through us from the telegram channel but whatever the case is make sure you join the telegram channel and participate in the free signal very important so i will just show you how you can actually log in on uh, uh, all the details that you've copied from here just to just a bit of a recap when you log in with your email and password you just have to click on trader hub and i said if you're using your mobile phone you have to click the option button and then select trader hub and click on what cfds so when you click on cfds this is what is going to display to you meanwhile on the trader hub there are two accounts that you have I'm just using demo as a case study. You can actually switch it to real. It's the same procedure. So when you come to the CFDS, you have to click on open. When it opens, you have to click, I mean, just copy your login ID, taking note of your what server's name. In this case, it is derived server. But if you're on the real account, your server's name is either going to be derived server or derived server or two. So you just have to take note of it. And once you've copied it and taken note, yeah, and I've taken note of this server's name. All you just need to do is to go to your MetaTrader 5 and log in, which is exactly what I am going to show you right now. Okay, so you just have to click on your MT5 and then click on this option bar. You're going to see this area, click on it, and then you search for your broker's name. Okay, so this is the Sorry, you are going to type Deriv, and then it will bring out the name of the company. So you click on it. The login detail you copy, you are going to paste it, and then you write the you write the password which you use in creating the account. And remember the server's name. This is what I mean. This the the first server you are seeing here is the risk server. Why the second one is the risk server O2. So if this two, the first two is just for real account, why this deriv demo is just for demo account? So if you are using the risk, if you are using your real account, if you want to log into your real account, make sure you take note of your server's name. Because if you choose a different server, different from the one that that the risk have accredited to your account, it's not going to open. So I'm just going to click on the demo and then log in. So you can see the state authorization fee. Authorization fee is as a result of authorization fee is as a result of either you don't put your the correct password you're supposed to use or you 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 made a mistake on the login details so i'm just going to try that again so that is that guys that is that about the whole process on how you can log in you can see the account is fully active this is the account right now so now that our account is back you cannot start trading so this is just how you can log in with your with your deriv how you can connect your deriv account to your meta trader 5 so i hope this video is helpful so make sure you give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are new to it god bless you see you in our next video